Hello right bags, it's Jade. Welcome to a Valheim guide today. Valheim's been out a couple weeks now and when it launched there were a few cheat commands that you could use if you wanted to on your single player world. These have been expanded now. People on Reddit and various other game sites have gave articles showing all the creative mode and some of the other commands that you might need. So I'm going to go over some of the important ones that you might want to do. If you want to test some stuff on your single player world, you just want to mess around in creative, try some build ideas, then these will hopefully take away the grind. And in just before I get some really passionate comments about why you got to cheat, why you got to ruin it. It's your game, you do what you want to do. That's directly from the developers themselves. The actual creator has tweeted and said in reply to people that it's your game files. If you want to cheat, you can go ahead. I know some people are worried that it upsets the economy of this game, but it's not really like that. It's not a big, huge MMO. There's no real proper PvP, only between your friends. You can turn it off completely. So I can't really see why people whinge. Like, Play the game how you want to play. Not everything is about the grind. Some people just like the building aspects of this game and maybe want to try some stuff out. Other people want to just go and explore an adventure but not have to go through the grind. You do you and that's what I'm here to help you do you, I think. So make sure you like, let's go through some of the big important commands you need to know. Okay, if you go obviously and press F5 and then type in help, you pretty much get the methods that you can kick unwanted people in your server, i.e. your single player world. Kick their name, their IP, unban them, banned, you get the idea. But if you then go ahead and put I'm a cheater, then type help, you get a bunch more codes. Now these codes are the ones that were around since launch. I showed you a couple of these, namely be god mode, run around, basically don't take any damage. It's all pretty simple. If you've been wondering how to get screenshots with like range, then just type in free fly and there you go. You can zoom out and get a nice little screenshot. Then control and F3 and you've got no HUD. And just press F5 again. Do exactly the same command or press up. And there you go, you're back to normal. So pretty useful, but the new ones that have been discovered in the last few days are even more useful. This has been helpful for people that maybe just want to explore a little bit or find themselves in a tough spot. But if you're a builder, it's still been a pain in the arse trying to be a creative builder. So there is a way to help you guys. Unlike me, who had to delve through some files and come up with a way to dupe stuff, that's pretty much how I did it on my little single player showcase testing world. Now obviously lots of these aren't going to work on a proper server and it's probably a good thing. Maybe in the future if they do increase the player size of the maps or they do have any plans for any sort of PvP, it might be a good idea to limit the economy. But stuff like this has been working in games like Terraria and Minecraft for years. As long as it doesn't affect anyone else's gameplay, I can't see the reason why anyone really complains. I'm just throwing it in there, just because I do get quite a few salty comments about it. Anywho, press F5 again and you can see we've got the DPS debug. So it's pretty similar. Instead, type debug mode, it'll pop up true. If you press B, you've got no placement cost. So that means you can effectively have creative mode. And there you go. I've just simply placed that down. I didn't have any of the materials in my inventory, just to show you guys. So if I want to put some more sort of blocks down, I can go ahead. And even though I don't have any stone, I can go ahead and put them down. The best bit about this one is it ignores any workbenches. If you've been frustrated by the length of the workbench and the range, well, you can go ahead and start just putting blocks and buildings down wherever you want. So really super good for creative builders that just want to show off what they can do, or if you're just planning something out to do on your proper legit world or on a server that you're playing with your friends. Although do bear in mind, you still have to recognize the laws of gravity and how to build. Now there is a command for fly, but I can't seem to get it to work. If you press Z button, it is meant to able to make you to fly, but no matter what combination I try and do right now, nothing's really working. If I press F5, and then maybe type fly again, you can still see it's not working. And the last one is a command that you've been able to use in just the first set, which is pretty much press F5, and then go ahead and type kill all, and it usually kills any enemies within range of you. You can see this is all the deer hides and the boars from close by. If we carry on a little bit more though, there is one 
button on the keyboard that you can use instead. Can you tell I'm a console player? Yeah, probably. While in debug mode, making sure you are in debug mode, go ahead and just press the K button. And there you go, just killed all these poor deers in one fell swoop. I've been able to basically duplicate items, it's a long process, and I have to find an original item first. And I can only duplicate resources, I can't duplicate weapons or armor pieces, etc. But you can now spawn every item in that you want. There is a huge list on Reddit, and I'll leave the links in the comment section for it as well. I might even post it in the comment section if you just want to refer to it all in one go. One of the things that you can spawn in is a trader. If you find it really hard to find a trader or you've got the perfect base location but you don't have to go miles and miles to find him, then you can spawn him in. And the command is really pretty simple. Just go ahead and type F5, then spawn, type in the item name, in this case it is Haldor. So you just want one of him and you just want one level. That first number is always the amount of items you want, and then the second number is always the level. So level three goblin, you would do one, then space, then three. And there you go. Now it is case sensitive. So if there is a big capital letter at the front of it, you've got to put that capital letter in. Now you will spawn like a foot off the floor. So after that, you might want to consider putting some foundations down underneath him or something along them lines. Obviously, you won't have his yak, but you will have all the items that you can go ahead and buy. No judgment, you do you. Maybe you just want the company, you like having him around. Or like I said, maybe you just really cannot find one. Or maybe you're setting up a server for your friends, and you've learned a way how to do this on private servers, the ones that you rent at least anyway. You might just want to set up a little point where everyone can trade quickly and easily. But do be warned, all of these commands and codes, as I said at the beginning, they could ruin your game file. So either make saves or just be very careful what you're doing. Some items can't be removed from inventory and when you do spawn them in you might not actually be able to get rid of them. So maybe make sure you've built a nice little area for him to live or now build around him a little trading hub. I spent all day today streaming and building my armory and in my armory I've got all the weapons and armors that like I said I have gone around and had to go and travel across the whole of the map before I realized there were more commands I could use. So needing one of every resource and item before I can make and craft every single one. But there was one thing that was missing and that is the Drake's helm. It's the one outfit I just don't have or the one helmet. And to get it, you need to kill loads of Drakes. In fact, the drop chance for this, some people are reporting that it is as low as 0.5%. Now I spent a good two hours running around killing as many Drakes as possible you can see I killed 66 in that time. Probably a bit more that I missed the drops. And not once did the actual trophy drop. I've got every other trophy except that one. And I really want to complete my set just so I can do a showcase and show you guys all the differences. Or just show you what to work towards if you're doing it completely legit. Don't worry, now I can just spawn it in. Or go ahead and spawn in the Drake trophies myself so I can craft one. I literally went to look up if there was an easier way to get the Drake trophies. And that's when I come across these codes and decided to make another video. So if we do F5 again, get rid of the spawn Haldor stuff. And I'm going to copy and paste in the code I got from the wiki. Leave a space. Type in how many I want. You need two to craft it. The quality, we'll leave it as one. And there we go. I finally got my Drake helmet. Or well, at least the recipe for it anyway. So there you go, there's my Drake helmet, 20 silver, 2 wolf pelt and the 2 Drake trophies. Absolutely the hardest item you can get in the game. It relies so much on luck, other people have said they managed to get 2 of them or 3 of them just by killing 20 and I've seen other people comment they've killed over 70 or 80 of them and still haven't received one single trophy. Now luckily because we've got debug mode on, I can go ahead and craft it anyway and there we go. The Drake helmet, the final piece I needed. It does look like that when you do the debug mode, it does open up all the recipes as well. Some of this stuff doesn't normally sit or live in the forge. You can only usually craft some of this stuff in a cauldron or then put it inside the actual, uh, or put it inside the fermenting barrel. But by doing debug mode, you can go ahead and just spawn in pretty much every item in the game. Again, I really wish I'd known about this before I have gone and spent days and days gathering all the items. Maybe it pays attention to look up stuff a little bit more. In fact, it makes all the workbenches the same. You can pretty much spawn in every single item. You can even go ahead and craft stuff at a cauldron. 
So I'm going to go ahead and craft all these up. One thing it doesn't have though is the actual complete potions. I'm still going to have to actually go and use my fermenting barrel before I can make some of them. I've got to say it looks pretty badass. That helmet is amazing. And there you go, just used it again. Killing all the monsters, 50. A lot of you guys have been asking how I've had the whole map on show. Well that's an old one as I said, has been part of the codes for ages. You just simply put explore map and get rid of anything else. And it will usually show the whole map. You can also reset the map. And there you go. Still has all the markers on it, but you get the idea. So going through all the lists, there is lots of stuff here that would definitely be massively spoiler territory. So I'm not going to do it in this video any further. I think one helmet telling you about it is probably just about enough. So there we go. I'm a little bit late to the party. These codes actually came out days ago. And I've actually been just struggling through having to go and explore the whole map, finding each and one and every item. If you press go to, then zero, comma, zero, comma, zero. You generally spawn right in the center of the map. It's exactly the same as coordinates in games like Minecraft. The teleportation screen will pop up and I should be just about in the water just off the coast of where my base is. Plunk. And there we go. It's going to be a long swim. Who says cheaters always prosper? And that is it guys. I am off. I hope this has been a little bit helpful. If it has, let me know in the comments section down below. And yeah, don't get sorry. Let people play their game. As long as they're not affecting you, who cares if anyone cheats? Absolutely, I can't wait to dive into this on my server where there will be no cheats. I'm going to really enjoy the grind and playing with some friends and rat bags while we go and take on all the bosses together. But if you're a solo player or you just don't have loads of time, as I said, I see no problem in doing this kind of stuff. It's exactly the same sort of system Terraria had for years. But in Terraria, you had to spawn stuff in on your second character, and then there was a way to duplicate items. What they maybe do need to do, though, is add a command or an option to stop players going to servers with items on them. If you are running a open server somehow, even though it's a 10-player game not really built for huge PvP, and you don't want anyone to get the upper hand or advantage, I think it would be beneficial if the developers do add some sort of command or some sort of option that you can't spawn in with any items at all. Expect a few videos coming up with lots of spoilers, showcasing future content and DLC stuff. And until next time, Ratbags, I will catch you later.